video um right so we're fitting a universal mechanism to this door um the old one is um discontinued and not available anymore uh so we're fitting this universal one now with the yale universal ones there are a few different options um so they do one with uh, just just rollers uh and mushrooms uh no hooks um and then they do this one uh, we've got the hooks uh, and then i believe one roller and that one and then one roller and that one yeah so two rollers um and then three hooks because the center case has got a hook as well uh now because it's a front door um and the previous mechanism had a hook on it as hooks on it as well which you can see there and there um obviously i've gone with this one and i f actually find this one easier to fit uh, purely because of the fact that the um, the one with the rollers uh, the other version the um, the keeps is a full length keep so it's one one full length just like just like this one uh, but the reason I prefer these ones is because you can individually um, put these on um, test test it to, see, to make sure it locks uh, and then obviously put the other one on so the way that I do this is that I put the center case on first um then put the keep on the center keep on uh test it make sure it works okay uh, and then put the top one on or the bottom one or the other way around um so each stage that i'm going along i'm just testing it to make sure that it's engaging into the frame properly and it's actually locking um so i'm just going to get this put on first um take that take this keep uh keep off um and then um put the center keep on and then um uh, get it done that way. see on here there's actually a line on the uh, mechanism that basically tells you um, uh, you draw a line on the door um, and then draw a line on the frame that then shows you uh, where that line is on the actual keep you just line that up like that and that should then hopefully be in line um for the latch and the actual hook to keep his on um so like I, like I was playing with the line uh you can just match the line up uh with the line on the keep uh, and that will then uh give you the right positioning for the latch and the hook uh, so obviously this plate is adjustable so you just unscrew those two screws uh, don't put that screw in uh, until you're happy that the door latches and it locks properly uh, and then you just tighten those two screws uh, and then put the center screw through there um, now these what these are the, on the behind this there's like a um, like a little lip and that lip basically meets that lip so when you when you offer the keep onto the onto the frame uh you adjust this so then the lip on there hits the lip on on, on the on the frame uh, and then you tighten it so then that way that way it ensures that the um side of the keep is in line with the actual with the actual frame um and then these grub screws if that wasn't there um then what would have happened when you screw it in that would have that would instead of being straight it would have been slanted slightly or if that was if it, it, it would have been slanted slightly like that so what those grub screws do is when you tighten them it just brings the the keep back in line so obviously it's um uh, it's nice and level with the frame um and then with the bottom 
with the bottom and top uh, pieces of the mechanism. Uh, I've put it on already because it's difficult to do with one hand. Um, so the teeth on so, uh, these teeth connects to the teeth on the center part of the mechanism. Um, and then this bar here, you just bring it up. And you can see like a little You can see like a little pin there that slots into into that pin like so and then obviously you put a screw through there um, to hold it in place So the bottom one is now done, so we've got the bottom part of the mechanism and the middle part of the mechanism on. Just check every stage that you do, just check, make sure the door locks properly, it shuts properly. Um, now just need to do the top part. We're done, so that's the top keep, middle keep and bottom keep. And then I've got the full mechanism on the door. Um, I really like these as well. So basically what these are, I'll right, just show in the bottom one. Um, so if the hole uh, where the existing case was um, is, uh, obviously when you're trying to, when trying to screw it in, but if, if it's just going through because of where the hole was for the existing case, uh, you've got these little tabs which basically come out and then you can actually screw it to um, to this part of the door um, so obviously it stays in and it doesn't, doesn't pop out Thank you so much for watching guys if you're watching on Instagram uh, please hit like on um, YouTube hit that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe I'll catch you on the next one till then take care